you must always follow your dreams. You must always. You must always, always follow your dreams. And it doesn't matter how impossible they might seem, pursue them. Each of us has the ability to become that which we aspire to be. If you can dream it, you can be it. And I don't mean to say that in a cavalier way. I don't mean to suggest that it's easy because it is not. The very nature of our goals and dreams suggests that they're not easy. You see, we conjure up in our minds these images of what we want to be, what we want to do, what we want to have. And when we do, you know, they're somewhere out there. They seem impossible. And then we somehow muster the courage to launch, to go after them, to push ourselves after them. And as we do that, they no longer seem so impossible. They seem incredibly difficult. But as we keep on pushing, we wake up one morning, and it's done. It's mission accomplished. Fet accompli. Do you know what that does for your confidence? Do you know what that does for your faith in your ability to achieve? Do you know how much that inspires others, people who have seen you accomplish this amazing thing, how much it inspires them to go pursue their own dreams? It's amazing, simply amazing. So this morning, I want to challenge you. I want to encourage you. I want to exhort you. Don't be intimidated by the obstacles you see in the distance. Launch. Pursue your goals. Keep on pushing. Keep pushing these obstacles out of your way or find a way to push yourself over them, around them, through them. This is what I know. There is always a way to win. There just is always a way to win. And your job is to find it. Don't allow the experts. You know those people in your lives who seem to think they know what it is you can or cannot do and see it as your job to tell you? Don't allow them to tell you what it is you can and cannot do. It will happen, and when it does, my advice to you is to wave at them with one finger and get on with your life. But you get to choose a finger you wave, okay? <laughs> or at least take solace in the words of Rudyard Kipling, who was far more polished than I was when he says, Small-minded people will always try to belittle your dreams, but the truly great ones will make you feel like you too can be great. And this morning I'm here to tell you, yes, absolutely, you too can be great. And finally, when you fail, and believe me, you will, when you fail, when you crash, let me give you a bobsledding tip here. One of the basic aims of bobsledding is to cross the finish line, right side up, all four runners on the ice. <laughs> when you do it the way we did, all four runners kissing the skies, that's a failure. Not only are we, were we failing, we were failing in front of the entire world. So what do you do? Do you pack up your little bobsled and head back to the warm beaches of Jamaica and call yourself a failure. Understand that when you fail, you are not the failure. It's an event. Failure is an error in judgment, and that was a result. So your job is to figure out what you did wrong, create a new plan, and launch. Put that plan into action and keep on pushing. So how do you do that? Well, unfortunately, I'm out of time. But I'll be happy to come back <laughs> and share more with you. You've been such a gracious audience. Thank you very much. Thank you.